All right, I'm coming to my station for all the nation, for all the people, all the colors and beliefs and all the friends and enemies and coolers and losers and anybody who wanna watch me, welcome to Metal Chef Mad Max Show. Thank you for watching me. I appreciate you guys. Without you I am not no name in the entertainment business with but with your help will reach to the sky baby. Alright. Dziękuję bardzo wszystkim. Alright, thank you again. Thank you for checking me out. Alright, people always telling me, man, you must spend tons of money on your cooking and now you know all these expensive ingredients. Not at all. I'm pretty much broke all the time. I don't have much to play around with, but I know how to shop around and buy the good stuff, sometimes lower cuts and turn to something delicious. Just, uh, I learned that from my grandmother when, you know, there was bad times in Poland and uh, you have to deal, you have to use, and you have to make something good from uh, whatever it was available, okay? So don't think I am a rich person spending tons of money on expensive product. I just put a lot of heart, soul and love to my cooking so it turned out to be pretty decent as the panel of testers who taste my stuff. Alright, let's go do this thing. Nice chuck roast. Not too much marbling, you know, I am old person so I have to watch what I eat, and I eat a lot of chocolate and sweets at night when I sleep, sleepwalk. <laughs> so I buy my meat, a liter, or I trim it really nice. You got two and a half pounds of the chuck roast. I will leave the fat cap, the very thin one on, for this particular recipe. And we're going to do marinade. It's going to be inspired by sauerbraten, a little bit the German uh, uh, roasted meat with the sauerbraten marinade, but it's going to be with my twist. Okay, let's go proceed. So we got the plastic container, we're going to marinate our stuff. Alright, let's go do it. We got the red onion. Slice it up, chop it up. Boom, like that. Ah! Uh, no, it was almost there. That's not the finger. Boom, goes in the container. Then five cloves of garlic. Booyah! 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 And booyah. Done. You know, rough chop. They go to the container. What else we got? Two bay leaves. Five all spice balls, not old spice shitty perfume from uh, Walmart Thea or whatever it sold or used to be sold, it's terrible smelling stuff. Then the long Greek pepper. Looks like a little pine cone. Let's go a little on the end, so release the flavors. Boom, goes in. What else we gonna do? What else we gonna do? I'm gonna, you know, so I'd rather use the red wine. I'm gonna use some sweet marsala. My twist on it. Oh shoot! Cup and a half of the marsala. Then so I rather than use the red wine vinegar or uh, white vinegar. I'm using vinegar from Spain, Sierra vinegar. Quarter cup of this. That's almost under the bottle. Hell yeah, put everything in. Go to the bars. Boom. Then I got the Russian mustard. A little bit more grainy, a little bit spicy. Big spoon of that baby right there. Then uh, gorchitsa. Gorchitsa, that's in Polish. Mustard seed. Probably 123. Let me count those things really fast. I can count it. Someone was playing here. I'm just messing. 
goes in. Black pepper, I'm not using fresh cracked black for this recipe, just a bunch of uh, <coughs> token in the pepper. And mixy mix, where is that? Tool we're gonna use. This little thing, oh, something smells good behind me. Excuse me for stopping the recipe. I have to check something in the oven. I'm getting into baking lately. Oh, look at this delicious mess. That's it. That's my little uh, cake I bake. Lemon, sweet Georgia peaches. Smells delicious. Cake. Let's go rest it. Oh, no. Oh, nice. That's a real cooking show, not some uh, assistance infused, you know, pick it up your garbage after you, you know. So, okay, anyway, because I'm into fusing for color and spiciness, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of sriracha. Mmm, smelling good. And many times people use washer, surfer, shire sauce. <coughs> Uh, so many spices, limited, uh, limited place. I'm gonna use one lid full of ozu, citrus soy sauce from Japan. Hey man, whatever floats your boat. This is floating my boat today, so now I'm good. Okay, well I'm stuck. At least I can't get Head in the head again and bleed. So we're mixing this stuff together and then we're going to add a little bit of salt, a little bit of fresh cracked black. Ooh, smells very deliciously. <laughs> oh, sriracha! Sriracha getting to my cha cha! And secret ingredients, pre-boiled and cold Detroit River water to dilute this baby a little bit. No delusion, no illusion. I'm not diluting, I'm just making a little bit more marinating liquid. And then what we gonna do? What we gonna do with this little piece of meat? Hello me. What we gonna do? We're gonna submerge that in a marinade. Twist it around, make sure every part of this baby is covered in the marinade. And lid goes on, goes in the fridge for three days. 72 hours sitting in a holding tank. Check this out. Looks pretty delicious. Well, that's my twist on the sour bratten marinade. Not sour bratten German, it's pretty slash uh, oriental and uh, central European, but that's what I love. I love fusion, I love mixing and mingling ingredients and techniques, so we come up with something different, something good, not boring, poofy crap. Alright, that's what I got for today. Thank you for watching me, Metal Chef Mad Max. Love you people. Thank you for checking my stuff out. Till next time. Love. Peace. Power to the people. And rock and roll forever. Be kind to each other because life is too short to be grumpy. Love ya. Boom. See us.